when you did Steve Harvey, did you, <laughs> did you know yeah. it was going to be as funny as it was? And I read that he wasn't too enthused about it. Because like you said, he gave you some great advice early. And yeah. then you turn around years later. Let me, and then you, let me, let me, let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get some of this cognac. <laughs> Ooh, boy, Shady, boy, you, you made you tough, man. Ah, uh, that cognac good, boy. I'm tell you right now, that cognac good. Like my grandmama said, if you ain't gonna drink cognac, better get that Hennessy. <laughs> <laughs> so, Steve Harvey met him, like, when Cat called it a man unit. Yeah. Oh, that was fucking funny. God. It, um, I remember when Steve Harvey had hair, and it was kind of, you know, thinning. Yeah. And I was in the hallway. And I was mad about something. I think we opened up for Steve Harvey. And Steve goes, he goes, yo, what's the matter with you? I said, ah, man, my, my partner, he's not really doing the lines. He's fucking up the shit. And Steve goes, how much you getting for this gig? I said, um, we're getting like $100. He goes, so that means you splitting it. I said, yeah. He said, are you trying to split that shit? I said, yeah. He goes, cut his ass. And he left. <laughs> and that's when I went solo because of Steve Harvey. Right. Fast forward to now. Fast forward to about four years ago. Right. I'm on my podcast, by the way, in Godfrey We Trust on the Gas Digital Network. Um, so my the guy that I was co-hosting with, he was like, he said something. He answered a question real fast. Like he right. got frantic. Blah! I said, damn, this ain't the family feud. And I was like, yeah, what's your ass say? I said, your dumb ass <laughs> going to answer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I did it on some bullshit. Right. And then the next day, everybody said, your shit is going viral. I said, what? He said, that's Steve Harvey shit you did? I said, oh, I didn't know. So then, like, all the comics were calling me. Jay Farrell's go, yo, man, I did not know you had a Steve Harvey. I go, don't you have a Steve Harvey? I thought everybody does Steve Harvey. They say, no, you're the only one doing Steve Harvey. Mm -hmm. So it went, kept going viral. And Steve sent me a text. He goes, boy, when I see you, I'm going to beat your ass. <laughs> I could just hear his voice in the text. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got me fucked up, boy. I'm going to tell you this right now. I'm from Cleveland. I don't know you know me. Steve, I hope you see this imitation. Because, yeah. Boy, <laughs> and his hand, I got the yeah, oh, you, you, you got the mannerism. He said, I'm going to tell you, God has blessed me. See, I was sleeping in my car. I didn't have no damn money. <laughs> but now I got money, boy. I'm going to find your ass. <laughs> and, so, I, and people say, that thing Steve is... <laughs> you ain't trying to laugh too hard. No, 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 because, because when, I first, <laughs> when I first heard it, like I yeah. said... If it sounds like that yeah. person to your ear, yeah. that's a real good imitation. Be and when you're doing it, yes. now I, I guarantee you, if you were to ask Steve, Steve will say Steve. to his ear, it sounds like him speaking. Because he does with his W's, why? Now, where, where am I going to find that? You're going to say I had a wig. I had no damn wig. That was, where in the world would I have a wig? And why? <laughs> you got me fucked up. Where, where, wherever I see you, I'm gonna wear your ass have out, you, boy. Have you Survey ever done said? that? Have you ever done that in front of him? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Top five answers on the board. Here's the question. Survey said. Name something Steve fit to do to Godfrey when he see his ass. <laughs> Whoop his ass. Number one answer, boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got the we, we got the Harvey's and Godfrey. Let's play the. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, you know, and I just kept perfecting. I would watch one day I was on the road and you know how family feud, sometimes the cable be trash in a hotel and it was just family feud for three hours. I was like, I ain't got shit to do. Right. Let me watch Steve Harvey because he's so good at, he's fantastic he's at the family feud. Bro. He, t remember we had Richard Dawson. We had yeah, a whole bunch yeah, of people yeah. hosted. Man, I said, yo, this is so fun. Richard Dawson kissed everybody in the mouth. Man, he kissed. He licked. One hey. ass. He was like, how you doing, love? <laughs> <laughs> Top five answers on the board. <laughs> uh, here's the question. <laughs> He's like, how you doing, love? Is this your grandmother? Uh, hey, what's your answer? All right. <laughs> he went, he went tough. <laughs> yeah. He was a smooth mother. I don't know if people remember Richard Dawson. Richard he... Dawson was the white dude from Hogan's Heroes. Hero. Hogan's Heroes. Yeah. And he would kiss. He's like, how you doing, love? It? Yeah. You had that long, that long ass bite. <laughs> <laughs> like the Bob Barker joint. <laughs> yeah. So, um, um, so Steve, like, um, what was I going to say? Steve is so good at it. I was watching for hours and I said, damn, look at what he does. And so, you know, he's always joking. Right. 
Steve don't let shit go. Right. So you can be like, uh, name an animal that, you know, you have in the house. And you say, I'll say dog. What your ass say? <laughs> dog. He said dog. Yeah. And he'd go to the audience, go mm -hmm. out there. So I was like, look, and he does this. Right. He goes, he said dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I ain't never heard. I was like, I said, he keeps doing that. I go, okay. So I started going, yeah, yeah, yo, and the, yeah. And I said, I think I got it. And in your, in your head, you're, you're like, I think I got it. Right. And so people are like, yo, you got that shit. You know, it's like, it's like with Trump, same thing with Trump. I was watching Trump and I, I, I turned off the volume and I just saw his mouth. It's very tiny. Very big head. Right. This is a very good show, very good show, Shannon Sharp. One of my favorite shows that I've ever seen. Uh, sh uh, Club Shasha. <laughs> very good show, Club Shasha, whatever you call it. I've watched millions and millions of shows, and this one is perfect, perfect. I don't watch a lot of black shows, but this one, better than Jimmy Kimmel, better than any other Joe Rogan, there are pieces of shit, but this one is top. <laughs> one of the greatest, I love this show, I watch it all the time. I think I'll get more views than Cat Williams. So <laughs> did you stumble upon, upon like, you like, did you, do you stumble upon them or you just try and practice? I just stumble, I'll look at stuff and I'll go, hmm. I'll look and say, I think I could do this, dude. You know what I mean? I'll right. just look and go, that might be a good one. Trump, who doesn't want to have a Trump? Right. And 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 to do Trump, I'll do Trump in front of like Republican audiences. Right. It's neutralizing because I'm not hating him or I'm just saying, man, Trump makes me laugh. Right. You know, Trump, the, you know, Trump has a ceiling of intelligence. When he hits his ceiling, he goes high school on you. Right. You know, if you bring up something, Donald, let me tell you something, Donald. You don't understand the, the oil crisis in 1978. It was, uh, uh, prices of oil were $10 a barrel and tr Trump would go, and then Trump don't notice it. He'd be like, this guy's a piece of shit. You always, he's trying to be a tough guy. I don't, I never liked you. Your wife's a crisis. Your wife's a crisis. You're a piece of shit. I know oil, lots of oil. Yeah. Olive oil, vegetable oil. <laughs> <laughs> so he would, you know, yeah. so I just started to get it and I started getting, I started watching him more and he's New York. He's from right. New York. Right. So when he goes, I talk to him, there's that accent. I say, right. I hear that. I talked to him the other day. So he's still got to put the New York thing in right. there. So there's little nuances I catch. How, how important are the mannerisms? Because when you do Steve Harvey, you do all of his mannerisms. Yeah. When you do Trump, you do the mannerisms. Yeah. You've really honed in on that aspect. Yeah, of you it. have to, you have to, ma you, mannerisms count. Cause it's the person, you're being the person. It's Correct. like, as an actor, you're being the person. Like if you prior, shit, goddamn, you niggas is crazy, Jack. I love your show, shit. I'm watching that shit like a motherfucker, Jack. Yeah. I bet you get a lot of white bitches, don't you, Jack? Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Shannon Sharp, my motherfucker, where's the coke? No, yeah. but you know, I, I, Richard was this guy. Yeah, he was. Richard was shit, goddamn. He was that guy. Right. Doing this and the hands. So you just can't, I mean, Cosby was like, you see, when I worked for Cosby, by the way, I worked for Cosby for six months. I was audience coordinator for his second sitcom on CBS. Okay. And so I was there when his son was killed. Okay. I was there. I lived in Queens and it was Kaufman Astoria Studios where they shot. It's right next door to Sesame Street. Okay. You remember that famous song? Can you tell me how to get? Yes. How to get to Sesame Street. Mm -hmm. Just to see Shannon Sharp know Sesame Street. I do. Like, you think a big Everybody guy grew like up him. on Sesame Street. Of course, like of course. <laughs> I can just see you singing. Can you tell me how to get, how to get to Sesame Street? <laughs> I just, come and come, come singing. I want to see a big dude singing. <laughs> come and play. Everything's a okay. <laughs> I love Sesame Street, man. I'm, I'm gonna tell you this right now. Sesame Street's my favorite. My grandmother said, "What you say? <laughs> if you don't know how to get to Sesame Street, I'm gonna show your ass." <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, so when I was there, I remember to watch Cosby every to watch him every Thursday, mm -hmm. like to do the sitcom with Dougie Doug, Madeline Kahn. I was there, I was introduced, I would introduce Felicia Rashad. I was the audience coordinator, right. but I had to tell jokes to 250 people right. for eight hours. Right. Eight hours, I'm just talking. I had to be clean, no singing, no nothing. You ask a question, but you gotta keep joking. Right. When the lights come on, you show them, talk, oh man. And I remember 
One day, um, I walked into Cosby's office because you could just walk in and say what's up. So I was like, hey, Dr. Cosby, how you doing? You know, he's like, hey. And he had the cigar. I'm not bullshitting you. It was the Cosby-esque. Yeah. And he goes, hey, how you doing, man? I, you know. And I said, hey, can you give me some advice? I'm doing comedy four years. I said, can you right. give me some advice on, you know, on comedy? <laughs> I didn't know what right. to say to him. He goes, and I'm not bull. He goes, writing. You got to write, son. You got to put it on the paper. Writing is the backbone. Oh, and I, that's him. He's right. and you got to see and Sinbad, boy, that's the bad. He loves Sinbad. First right. of all, Sh Sinbad is recovering. Yeah, yeah, to you. Sinbad's recovering. Yeah, and I hope you can Listen. get him on here yes. because he is. We cannot forget Sinbad. Mm -hmm. Sinbad is like for real, like one of the greatest comedians that we we tend to ignore. Right. One of the greatest, some of the greatest HBO specials. Mm -hmm. Sinbad, thank you for, he's recovering, he's getting better, yes. he's speaking well. But yeah, but that's how I imitated people. If I'm around you long enough, right. I can start doing you. Right. Like, one, of, a, a comic, one of my comic colleagues that I started imitating was Dion Cole. Really? De yeah. Dion Cole, when we were in Chicago, he'd be like, yo, man, you sound just like me. <laughs> I would do D.I. Yo, you have to understand, man, how you do that shit? <laughs> so, I started, so I start imitating my friends so I could just, if I hear it and it's in my range, I go, I think I can do it. You know what right. I'm saying? So that's where, yeah. You know what's so funny? The person who told me to leave my comedy team was Steve Harvey. The guy... Yep. So was that before, were, be, before he told, were you uh, uh, impersonating him before or I, after I, he told? Oh, I was impersonating Steve only like three, four years ago. Okay. I never impersonated right. him. I wasn't interested, or, you know, but um, he told me, because one day there was a club called All Jokes Aside in Chicago. Okay. It was the number one black comedy club for seven years. Shout out to Raymond Lambert. Mary Lindsay and James Alexander. It was the number one club in Chicago. Cause a lot of times when you would do black con urban rooms, yeah. it would be a black night at a white establishment. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, but this was Chicago was a black comedy club in the nineties that was open seven days a week. All right. And so that's from there. I went solo. I broke up with the guy that I was with. I wanted to go solo. So I how difficult was that? Because you had got. I'm sure you guys had been together for what yeah, three, for four, about, five years. About two years. About two, years. About okay. two strong okay. years. You know. And I was like, I was a little because he. I don't think he was as passionate as I was in it. I was writing most of the sketches, and then I was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna go solo. So I started writing shit on the side, like just in case. Right. This does. This doesn't go well. I'm gonna do shit on my own. Right. So. I started writing stuff on my own and I, it was kind of easy to keep it moving. Right. Cause you know what I'm saying? I just started doing shit on my own. I didn't right. even really tell him. I okay. just started going on my own. Want to join Club Shay Shay? Become an official member by hitting that subscribe button where you never know who's going to be joining us for drinks and conversation. Don't be late to the party because you know we like to do something before two something.